Die Musikmesse Frankfurt und Musetalk TV präsentieren den offiziellen Videocast von der Musikmesse 2010. Einen wunderschönen guten Tag, hier ist Tom Wendt am Messevorabend in Frankfurt für Musetalk. Ähm, die Welt war gespannt auf die Eigenhab, das Instrument, was äh, Anfang des Jahres vorgestellt wurde. Und die freundlichen Leute von Eigenlabs, dem Hersteller, sind so nett, uns am Messevorabend schon eine Demo zu geben und mal zu erklären, was denn so besonders an der Eigenhab ist. Neben mir hier steht Finlay ja. und äh, da ist noch Marc. Äh, die beiden sind äh, ziemlich fit auf dem Instrument denke ich mal. Und äh, Finlay wird uns äh, mal etwas Musik spielen, um uns eine Idee zu geben, was die Eigenhab so kann. So Finlay, you want to play some music yeah, to just give sure. us an introductory course, um, yeah. idea. sound is very impressive, but uh, that's not uh, uh, the main story of this instrument. Uh, could you um, explain to us briefly what makes Eigenhub different from a MIDI controller, okay. as we know? Yeah, for sure. So the main thing to talk about is the keys, the 3D keys we have. Um, so I have like a kind of zither sound here. Each key is mappable in three different directions, so it's responsive to pressure. But equally you have like a side to side pitch bend movement and then you have yeah, you have something mapped to the yaw. I'll demo this on another synth sound so pressure, pitch and then we have like a filter on it as well. Okay, also jeder Key hat vier, fünf, sechs, sechs Freiheitsgrade um, um, um uh, um Intonation quasi zu simulieren. So you can also set it into any scale you want. So for example I put it in a major scale so you can't play a wrong note. So you run up here, but then you can equally do kind of big runs on it, like so. So any kind of amateur to just, could just come along and, you know, make a nice sound out of it. You could equally, like, get a cat to run up and down it and uh, <laughs> make a nice noise. It has, it has these strip controllers. Yeah, one second. Um, so, uh, man kann die... Um Tasten im Prinzip mit einer Skala belegen äh, und dafür sorgen, dass... Ähm, aha, okay. You, uh, was that a scale? Uh, I said this was in a major scale. So ah, okay. So, ähm, man kann dafür sorgen, dass egal was man macht, dass es immer harmonisch klingt oder halt auch ähm, nach... Ähm, ja, das Ding ganz normal chromatisch stimmen. Schon mal sehr erstaunlich. So, you could... You, it's got strip controllers down each side. So, for example, um, here I could just run a, a drum loop. Then I'm just going down on the filter there. So we have one of these on each side. Okay. Yeah, ja, also slider auf beiden Seiten des äh, Instruments, dass man halt ähm, ähm, detunen oder irgendwelche Echtzeitparameter steuern kann. Und äh, okay, ähm, hier ist noch was. Was ist das? Uh, percussion keys. So they're the same as these, but you can give them a good old whack. So we use them for playing percussion. Mhm. Okay, Und was ist das da unten? This is a kind of mute button. So if we hit that, 
it disables the main keyboard. Okay, and then uh, gibt's noch was zum Pusten? There's a breath controller. It has a breath controller, yeah. So here I have it mapped to the volume on a Rhodes piano, and it gives this kind of tremolo effect. <laughs> Okay, hmm, very impressive. And um, is there something special which is um, um, which you would like to to mention, uh, which um, is which we haven't touched yet briefly uh, here? You got oh yeah, okay. It has this thing called the arranger, which is a step sequencer. So this is if I start the metronome. This is like kind of. Uh, this is a grid. I'll, I'll put in a snare drum, first of all. And you can basically build up sequences very easily. Okay. Das ist was für Hans Jörg. Er ist ja so ein Step Sequencer Fan. Ich sehe ihn hinter der Kamera schon grinsen. Grinsen. Non Eric is hooked. <lacht> SP1200 on a stick. <laughs> okay. And then I'll do the sequence. That doesn't have to be drums, that could be anything though, really. So, but uh, um, you are creating an awful lot of data, I think, that might uh, extend the MIDI uh, That's right, yeah, well protocol. we have our own protocol. Uh -huh that um, we use software called EigenD mm -hmm. and basically via this software it enables us to kind of create all the information that you wouldn't be able to do with MIDI. Okay. So, so um, how do I connect to a um, software okay, instrument or sure, to, a, to right. an instrument? So I there might be a box is. box between... Um, there is your, indeed. There's a box where this wire plugs in and then from the box you just simply take a USB to the computer. Okay, also das äh, Gerät äh, kreiert eine unheimliche Menge Daten und ähm, dafür haben sie ein eigenes Protokoll äh, entwickelt. Man kann aber mit so einer äh, Zwischenbox im Prinzip jedes normale MIDI-Instrument ansteuern. Okay, und ähm, ja, das, uh, we don't have to see that right now, actually. You don't and have to? No, oh, okay. okay. And um, um, we would like to have a closer look at this instrument because uh, what sets it apart from normal controllers is um, uh, that's wood real wood with the uh, metal inlays and um, crafted in a very nice way. Also sehr hochwertig gebaut und wirklich als Instrument. It has a microphone preamp on the uh, top as well. Uh, Mikrofon amp drin. Okay. Und uh, aus wunderschönem Holz mit Metall. And it has a headphone, headphone monitoring on the back as ah, well. Und ein Kopfhörerausgang. Aha. Okay, and um, so what's your, uh, if you would have to, uh, what's your verdict? in regards of uh, the Eigenhub, what's it, uh, is it an it's instrument, a controller? Uh it's, a, it's, a, it's an instrument in its own right, I think, because although you can take sounds that are, you know, like I've just got this normal CS80 pad that sounds quite bland for a MIDI keyboard, suddenly you have this kind of out of tune and almost violin kind of experience with it, which I think, you know, elevates it to a new level and, and for that reason I'd call it an instrument. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. yeah. good. And, um, what has been the um, reaction so far from, from the public? The reaction's been great, yeah, been fantastic. Um, we've got a number of people playing it and kind of, you know, experimenting and taking it to new places. So, mm -hmm. yeah, watch this space. Okay. Well, thanks a lot. Um, um, es uh, gab eine riesen positive Resonanz soweit bisher auf das Instrument. Einige um, interessante Leute spielen das wohl schon. Wir werden noch ein bisschen Zusatzmaterial kriegen und uh, finden da bestimmt noch einiges an Videoinformationen, die unter Umständen demnächst dann noch auf Music Talk als Begleitmaterial zu sehen sein werden. Uh, ich bedanke mich erstmal bei Finlay und bei Mark für ihre spontane Bereitschaft, uh, gerade was zu zeigen. Thanks guys Cheers. and to the Eigenhub Team for being so quick and uh, letting us into your stuff on uh, the evening before the Messe start. So, das war der erste Bericht. Uh, mein Name ist Tom Wendt. Bis demnächst. Ciao.